Hey folks, Justin Fair, TeamFair.com. In light of Zillow's pending legal troubles um, in the news and their the exposure the, of their not illegal practices per se thus far, but uh, dirty practices, unsavory practices, I thought it would be a really good time to kind of lay out what uh, some of the misconceptions about Zillow and Trulia and for that matter um, a lot of other um, pay porthole sites that want realtors or real estate brokers to pay to be prefer brokers and what that really means. So first and foremost, for we uh, we know this. Well, a lot of people don't know this, and a lot of brokers have been led astray on the value facts, right? And it's not that they've been led, led astray illegally on the value facts, but they just aren't of a business mindset to quite understand. Uh, what they were buying into when they paid to be a preferred broker agent or paid for uh, basically to have their little placard and name uh, displayed in advertising. So, being a preferred agent in no way, shape, or form is a value, right, to the home seller. Okay? Um... It just it's just not uh, it's not a format or a portal that adds value for dollars exchanged to the home seller or the listing broker themselves. What it does is it's great for providing um, a buyer leads, right? Fresh buyer leads that that buyer's agents can take, drive around and sell other homes that they particularly don't have listed. Statistically, that's what's going to happen. Statistically, nobody can prove anything different. Now, I have actually been in many sales calls with Zillow sales representatives and you know, and they have great concepts on how um, they're trying to convince me uh, this will help me even get listings um, of course, what they can't say is they absolutely can't tell me that, hey, this is a value to your sellers. Being a preferred agent or premier agent is a value to your sellers. They're going to get special treatment. You're going to get looked at more. It's just not the case. Now, I've already proven this in a previous video, which I'll post in a card um, on this video on how basically you just can't throw a little bit of money at it and and get the job done when it comes to advertising and marketing you have to put the work in um, if you don't know how to do it you need to hire somebody who can put keywords in basically Zillow, Trulia, Homes.com I love them I love these portals because you can actually um, because they're contracts or not direct um, and, and they have information that is outside of the multiple listing services they have to allow access right and they should allow access and neat little things where listing brokers can go in outside of the direct system okay the direct system is basically you put it in the multiple listing services automatically fed into the sites via the IDX automatic upload system. Right? An individual broker can go in and add information, change information, add photos, add keywords, and do a lot of algorithm manipulation or search engine optimization, but basically it's manipulating the algorithm, making your listing seem more relevant or look more relevant or become more relevant as far as the information against the competition which once again 
Um, this is proved quite beautifully in my other video on the subject, Selling Homes with Zillow and Trulia. Um, you know, I love Zillow. I love that the website, that portal to death. Love Trulia, love Zillow more because it's so much bang for the buck. For not one penny out of my pocket, a lot of work, but not, not any money, I can go in there and I can completely take advantage of that system. Okay? Um, the money they want me to pay, uh, you know, I'm a guy who, who's a businessman and entrepreneur first. You know, um, if you're going to do your clients a service, if you're going to be selling homes, you need to know how to run your business and market effectively. You need to be the expert on the topics. Uh, one of those things in this internet age is search engine optimization and really that's kind of an old term. It's just called what it is algorithm search query algorithm manipulation okay how do you make your information stand out above the rest I'm sure this is going to be a controversial topic it is it is what it is it doesn't make sense as far as a business model um, because it's your information that you can already monetize anyway um, right, and I do it all the time without paying them a dime. So, um, leave a comment below. Hey, if you disagree with my thinking that it's a waste to pay them money or be a premier broker, let me know. Um, if you can prove that being a premier broker statistically helps sellers, let me know. You know, leave a comment. Uh, I'd love the challenge. So, Subscribe to this channel if you like what I'm talking about. Uh, that's it, teamthrow.com. See you next time.